Hello and a big welcome back to the Wheel Order channel. Today we're going to be heading out to Thornybank Farm Shop. So I'm going to be picking up a load of delicious local and Scottish items in there. Um, over on the left here you'll actually catch a wee spy at Glendronic Distillery as well. It's one of my favourite distilleries. It's so um, beautiful. I love all the old buildings around it and stuff. It was actually a snowy day when we were heading out there but the snow wasn't lying but it was freezing. There was actually a lot of snow in the hills and I will show you that at the end of this video if you stay till the end. Um, you'll also get my delicious sausage stew recipe after I show you all the goods as well. So this is their modern farm shop here. They did have a really old farm shop here a long time ago but they've modernized it into this um, high-tech farm shop and it's, it's a really cool place to visit actually. We love popping in. Um, you can get lots of meals that are made fresh by local people, desserts and main, main meals and there's pies and sausages and burgers and things from local butchers. There's Scottish cheeses in there, there are sauces, um, Scottish um, relishes. You can also pick up loads of their homegrown vegetables as well which are um, really muddy and literally fresh out the ground by the looks of it and um, the carrots were actually amazing in the stew that I'm going to be cooking up at the end and they have loads of traditional home bakes in here as well which are made um, at the farm as well and, and everything's in these modernized machines and it just makes it really nice and clean and just an easy way to shop um, I love popping in here um, I must pop back soon actually <laughs> And we got some of that smoked onion relish actually, it was really really nice. And here's a wee peek at um, wee Mary, I don't often have her in my films but she's in her snowsuit today and she's actually picking up, um, well she's choosing the coconut pudding. We did actually go home with that with the custard, it was really really good. So you basically order everything on these screens here, you just scroll through and as you can see there are so many um, lovely meals to choose from and butcher products and things and we got a few pies and some cheese we got a uh, um our lovely coconut pudding that we got as well and that's such a traditional classic as well i absolutely love that pudding <laughs> um and we you, you just basically pay on the screen and then once you've paid here you will see the little doors pop open um and you just collect all your goods i got this super cute christmas pudding i will show you everything that i got in a minute um, but I'll just give you a wee tour of the shop first and I got this lovely Kintyre blue cheese as well I love this cheese, it was so good I've actually still got a little bit left in the fridge um, and the pies, they always go down well with the kids they love a good pie and they're from a local butcher as well and the sausages I got were actually from a local butcher too so I also got some water and some relish and things out with that machine and I picked up some of the vegetables so you just pay for the vegetables on the screen as well and then you just collect those from the trays afterwards and you can also buy a coffee at the end as well or in my case a hot chocolate because it was so cold outside and it was just the perfect thing to um, go back into the car with because it was such a cold day we've been getting really cold cold days but not so much snow there is snow in the hills but not so much in the lower ground and don't forget to say hello to the lovely doggy as well he is super cute so I'm sure you'll be dying to see what I bought there. Um, I bought some lovely items from the bread guy. I got these cane au chocolats. Um, everyone got a teeny bit squished on the way back because we've, we've been traveling about quite a bit today um, and we started nibbling some of the things as well. So we've got these really nice buttries from the bread guy. I do actually have a, a recipe for buttries if you want to try and make your own on my website. But these are so nice. I love the produce from the bread guy. Um, and we've got this ancient wheat bread from him as well. So it's all from the farm shop, but they just have different products in store from um, local uh, producers. We got some home bakes which are made on the farm and they always go down a treat with the kids. So my daughter absolutely loves this coconut. Um, it's called a cherry and marshmallow slice. So it's rolled in coconut. It's like a sliced, um, sort. I don't know, it's not quite a biscuit. It's more like a sort of fudge type consistency so um, I might actually make a recipe for this at some point but yeah it's really really delicious I love picking up some of that there my my daughter loves it and we also got the fudge biscuits from them as well so <laughs> they were eating that in the car on the way home from school so these are really good and they're topped with like white chocolate so they're all made on the farm and I picked up some cheese as well so I got some Howgate Kintyre blue cheese so this is a Scottish um, produced cheese and it is lovely I'm sure you'll probably see me eating that on Instagram over the next few weeks um, and I also picked up another cheese just because I actually couldn't resist the packaging this super cute Christmas pudding and it's from the Isle of Kintyre 
So it is a mature cheddar cheese inside this wax coating. So yeah, I'm gonna be sharing that on my Instagram page as well. And we also got a couple of pies. One of them has been eaten by the kids in the car. Um, but we got the individual steak pie and it got a teeny bit squished in my bag, but it is gonna be really delicious. And that's from Presley's. So it's another local butcher and we got this delicious coconut jam sponge as well. Um, so we're gonna be cooking this up tonight with the custard. It came with like a custard. So it's just like a traditional sponge uh, with jam on the top. It's quite a traditional style recipe. And that is from Hudson's, I believe. And that was another local supplier as well. And we've got the custard to go with it there as well. And I also got um, some Ola extra virgin cold press rapeseed oil. I love this oil. It's really, this one's infused with garlic. It's rich in omega-3, 6, and 9. This is a local um, company to us, so I'm going to be using this in probably salad-like type things in the summer. I'm not actually eating too much salad at the moment, but um, I'll probably use it for roasting vegetables and things as well. And I got the smoked onion relish. So this is from... Um, Galloway Burger House and it looks super delicious. I've heard it's really nice with burger. Probably gonna have it on the side of my sausage and root vegetable stew tonight. Um, and I also got the sausages as well. These are from Presley's, uh, Presley's Butcher, which is local to the farm shop as well. So I'm gonna be cooking those up in my root vegetable stew. On the way back, we stopped at a coffee shop in Davia and I absolutely could not resist this bowl. They, they sold like so many um, items from small producers and this is handmade in Scotland and I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, if I can decipher the name of the, the business on the bottom, I will share it in the description box. I can't actually read it too well, but it's, it's a handmade um, bowl and it just is beautiful. So I'm gonna be using this for um, my photography, for my soups and things like that. And in the same um, coffee shop, I also got this lovely uh, walking stick from my dad and it was really reasonable. Um, and it's just to help him get around the garden here because <laughs> it can be steep in areas and when we're out for walks and things. And I almost forgot to show you my muddy vegetables from Thorny Bank as well. So we also got um, these lovely carrots which are homegrown there um, and they are going to be tasting delicious. I've heard and I also got some parsnips as well. Um, I love parsnips and we got some delicious beetroot which is um, grown on the farm as well. So I, I'm going to put that up on the side of my stew. I've got this lovely, um, huge meat as well, huge muddy meat. So I'm going to be serving that up with my root vegetable sausage stew. And, uh, so I hope you enjoy this delicious sausage and root vegetable stew. Let's get started on this lovely recipe. So you might want to pause the video at these lovely ingredients here. Um, you can use also use beef sausages if you want to as well in this recipe. We're just gonna start by adding some salt into our boiling water and we're gonna add our parsnips and our carrots. And we're basically just gonna cook these down for about um, five, 10 minutes or so, just, basic, just to soften them before we put them into the oven. We're gonna add plenty of butter into a frying pan. Um, don't be shy. <laughs> I hope nobody's on a diet watching this. I, I didn't actually add all of that butter, by the way, <laughs> just in case you thought I added that whole block. Um, and we're just gonna add our onions into the pan here and we're gonna cook those down like so. So we're just browning our onions basically before we put them into our casserole dish. So you want them nice and brown and um, cook before we pop them in, just so that they kind of crisp up a little bit as well. So we want a, quite a high heat for cooking the onions, not, not too high though. So we're going to add all of our onions into our casserole dish and we're then going to pop our sausages back into the same pan um, to brown them on all sides. So we're just going to cook those for like 5 to 10 minutes until they are all browned and they will be cooked a little quite a bit through as well by this point. So we're then once they're nice and brown on all sides we're going to add them into our um, casserole dish. You don't have to pour the butter in as well, just add the sausages um, and you don't want to put <laughs> extra fat in here. And then we're going to add in all of our carrots and parsnips which have been um, boiling for 5 to 10 minutes. So they should be nice and not too soft, but they should be sort of half cooked at this stage. And we're just gonna pop those into our dish. This recipe is so, so easy. And then we're gonna pop our kale back into the water that we're using for our carrots and parsnips. Give our vegetables a drizzle of oil, a sprinkle of salt and some black pepper. I am actually putting black pepper on there. You can't see it very well, but I have put plenty of black pepper on. I love black pepper in um, 
a stew or a bake type recipe and there's not many other flavors to this but you could add fresh herbs in here as well if you want to i add, added in a little bit of parsley um but if you had other herbs available in your garden if it was summertime you were cooking it you could add um other herbs in if you wanted to as well so we're just going to give that a good stir through with the herbs and we're then going to bake this at about 180 and that's a fan oven as well for um 20 minutes so i'm just adding a little bit of water as well from the pan that i'm cooking the kale in so, um just to give a little bit of liquid to this dish but it's not really like a um stew it's more like a sort of uh sausage bake so there's not really much uh, gravy or sauce to this recipe at all it's just um, baked. So once our sausages have been cooking for about 20 minutes we're going to take it out of the oven and we're going to add in our kale which should be nice and soft. So our kale has just been cooking for about 5 to 10 minutes just to soften it up. Um, we're then just going to pop our dish back into the oven for 10 minutes and it should look something like this when it is finished. So we're just crisping the kale up for that last 10 minutes. So I hope you enjoyed this lovely, easy farm shop sausage stew. And um, if you do like these kinds of videos, please say so in the comments below and give this video a big thumbs up. And if you enjoy these recipes, please feel free to subscribe and if you hit the little bell next to it, I will see you guys again soon. If you're interested in Scottish recipes, I also have my free cookbook available over on my website at angiemilne.com. And if you want to find out more about Thornybank Farm Shop, I have a little link in the description below as well. So I'm also over on Instagram, feel free to pop over and say hello but otherwise i will see you guys again soon lots of love take care bye bye